Hello my friends, Ahsoka the Geek here, and for this review we are going to take a look at the complete first and second wave of McFarlane Toys Page Puncher 3 inch line via DC Direct. First of all, thank you to McFarlane Toys for sending me these Page Punchers uh, to review. So yeah, we're going to go through all of them, and first I'm going to show you them inside of the packaging. So here's Nightwing. Uh, basically these are miniaturized versions of 7 inch scale figures. So pretty nifty, they just like did a Honey I Shrunk the, the action figure move on these guys. So here's Nightwing, there's the Rebirth comic that it comes with, which is basically a reprint of the comic you're looking at. Uh, you can see that the new, uh, let me get one from the first wave, the second wave of Page Punchers actually does look different as far as the packaging goes. The first one had the Page Punchers logo in the first wave, and the second wave has just the DC emblem with the character name. I kind of like, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like, of course I like seeing DC prominently displayed like that, but I do dig this Page Punchers logo, so we'll see. So anyway, there's Nightwing, so we'll get into that. There's Batman, the Hush Batman, of course. Beautiful Jim Lee uh, comic book that it comes with. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And let's see, who else are we going to take a look at? we got the new Joker. There's the Joker there. And I love these clamshell covers that are resealable, so that's pretty cool. That way you can take them out, photograph them, display them, and then if you like, put them back in the packaging. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, I did make a reel with these page punchers, and the way I displayed them was I just stuck them on the wall. I mean, they have a nice little uh, loop there for you to, you know, put them on the wall. So that that is one way to display them, or take them out of the packaging and make like a little mini version, a mini miniaturized action figure collection. So yeah, I do wish. They were the same scale as the Marvel Legends, like, four-inch line that they have, because that would just be too easy, right, if you had a line where you could have Marvel and DC characters perfectly in scale. So, but it's okay. This line's still a lot of fun there. So there's Superman and the comic book it comes with. This is his uh, Rebirth look. No. Rebirth? Maybe. Or New 52. Or Rebirth. I think it's Rebirth. Yeah, can't remember. All right, then finally we're down to the Green Lantern, which is a weird cover for me. Like, it's got the cool Spectre version of Hal Jordan, but that doesn't really match the figure. So it would have been cool if they just had a regular Hal Jordan cover. Even though I dig this Green, La Green, <laughs> Green Lantern Rebirth cover, um, you know, the imagery doesn't really match the figure at all. So there you go. All right, then last but certainly not least, Black Adam. There he is. All right. All right. Without further ado, let's take all of these out of the packaging and take a look. All right, my friends. So here are some of the page punchers or all the page punchers outside of the packaging. I was trying to stand these up, but uh, some of them stood up. Some of them did it. So I gave up. Well, what do I think about this concept? Number one. So these are two of my two of my like favorite things in life, right? Comic books, which I love. And action figures, which I love. So I, I really like this concept, um, mainly because I think it's a really smart way to try and, you know, get some new collectors out of young kids, right? I mean, I think the hope is or should be with this line. Like, you know, you see this hanging on the shelf at Target. You have a, a cool looking comic book and a nice little action figure. And maybe you'll get some new readers. Maybe you'll get some new collectors. And I think that is... Super important because, you know, I think <laughs> it seems like a big portion of collectors are like my age, like late 30s, 40s. I'm sure there's younger collectors, but uh, same thing goes with comic books. Like, I, I don't know what the demographics are anymore, but it feels like everyone reading comic books seems like an older generation. I mean, it's funny because you see comic book co comic con and like comic book movies are so prevalent now, but like the actual number of comic books being sold is pretty low compared to like the 90s or the early 2000s even which is surprising because there's more people now so you would think there'd be more people reading comics but i mean i think there are just so many other forms of entertainment tv video games that uh, get people's attention now the comic books just aren't what they used to be so anyways uh back to <laughs> 
getting off my tangent there. I love this concept. For 10 bucks, you get a really cool comic book and you get a really nifty little action figure. So kudos to McFarland Toys and DC Direct for coming up with this and doing it. And I, I hope it does well. I will be supporting this line and buying. I already had a few of these, even though McFarland Toys did send me these. I already had a couple uh, that I purchased myself. And I will continue to buy them, but I think it's important to support this type of thing. And I really hope that, you know, it gets new new people into our community. Um, but just to be, you know, putting on the crit critical hat and, you know, looking at these figures for what they are. So it's for ten dollars, you get a comic book, and these comics usually retail for what, like four or five bucks now. And then you get this figure. Now, this figure is small; it's like three inch scale, I think. You know, not much articulation. Five points: the legs, the arms, and the head, and that's it. So these are really not meant. To, I mean, you can play with them, I guess. I mean, you know, like you could play with them. You could like do, do something like that but you know what i mean so the the and again these are shrunk down versions of existing action figures so it comes to like the sculpt this there you know but at this scale i mean you know it's going to be hard to really get any sort of detail or really you know get a really I, I don't know i mean for this scale i think these are pretty good right they're tiny figures so not much you could do with them um so yeah in that regard you know i it's going to be hard to display these, especially since I noticed they're not really standing. Well, some of them are standing up okay. I would have liked if they had some sort of little stand, um, I guess. But I guess I would eat, eat, into, eat into the cost of these. But I think these will be fun to set like a row of these. You know, because I love things that are in the same scale. And these are very nicely scaled figures. They all are the same basic height. So I think they are going to look really cool together. But so, yeah, I think this is just sort of a nice little subline to collect. So even if you're an adult collector, this is sort of a fun little line to collect. Uh, it doesn't take up any space at all because they are so small, but um, I think they're a lot of fun. So that's my long-winded opinion. As for the figures themselves, you know, let's just take a brief look. Here's Thomas Wayne. as Batman from Flashpoint. There he is. There's Nightwing. Good-looking Nightwing. Then you have the Flash. It looks like the new 52 Flash or Rebirth. Then you got the Jim Lee Hush with a screaming face there. There it is. And you have Superman. I'd like to see a classic version of Superman, of course. And then we have Black Adam, which I really like actually with the cape and everything. Because I think the Endless Winter Black Adam was supposed to have a cape, but uh, it didn't come with one. But this one does have a cape, so I kind of I really like that. Then we have Hal Jordan, Green Lantern Extraordinaire, and finally we have the Joker. So there they all are. And as you can see, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time going into like super detail about these. I mean, they are <laughs> they're meant to be tidy little figures. I think it's just something you collect for fun. You know, it's at this scale, it's really hard to get super detailed with them. So, I mean, I, again, I'm going to put them in a row somewhere in the shed. I'm looking around right now, like have a, like a little mini shelf of these and just have them straight across. I think they'll look fun together. I think these figures look great when you have a few of them and they're like together in a row. I think those are probably, that's going to be the best way to display them in my opinion. And how fun would it be to have like a bunch of Batmans? That you can display like this or a bunch of flash figures so yeah i like this i like this line i'm going to be supporting it you can get these at target and i think walmart has them and even on the mcfarland's uh mcfarland shop definitely has them so again they retail for about ten dollars each uh might be more might be less depending on where you buy from but yeah there you go so that's my thoughts on the page punchers three inch line from mcfarland toys as always check out my instagram page Soak of the Geek, where I will have more pictures, maybe another reel or two about these. So hopefully to give you a little bit more to dig into there. But really curious what you guys think about these. What's your honest opinion about these page punchers? Are you collecting them? Are your friends collecting them? And uh, what's your general opinion about the page punchers? Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate your time and have a great day.